Hello everyone, this is Killenberg. Today I'm reviewing Halloween Ends. Now this starts one year after Halloween Kills. A man named Corey babysits a kid named Jeremy, and he accidentally kills him. So then three years pass, and he gets harassed by some high schoolers. One of them ends up throwing him off a bridge. He gets dragged into the sewer, and he meets Michael Myers. Corey basically becomes Michael Myers. I guess he passes his evil down to him. This doesn't really make sense because they made it clear that he's not supernatural in these new movies. Allison is now living with Lori. Allison also falls in love with Corey. So Corey steals Michael Myers' mask, and he kills people dressed as Michael Myers. There's a part where Lori tells the police she's going to kill herself, and Corey shows up. Corey stabs himself in the neck, and Allison walks in and thinks Lori did it. Michael Myers does kill Corey later on. Lori and Myers do fight, and Lori ends up pinning him to a table, and she actually does kill him. I don't get why she doesn't decapitate him. I know it was done in age 2, but if you think about it, it makes total sense. Allison says he's not dead enough. Lori and Allison take his body to a junkyard, and the people of Haddonfield follow them. His body is then put in an industrial shredder. So he's definitely dead. Lori finishes her memoir, and Hawkins shows up, and that's the end. I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people are saying, but it's far from perfect. I'd say it's easily the weakest out of the three Blumhouse movies. It's a good movie, but it's not a good Halloween movie. I wasn't a fan of Myers being weak. I know that Blumhouse isn't making anymore. But I do hope that the franchise doesn't end here. I want at least one more.